Hey everyone, it's Britt from Even If Candle Company. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make my wax melts. Stay tuned. All right, so this is a voiceover video, FYI. Um, but I, I did wanna say a quick thank you before I dive in here. Uh, just thank you so much, guys, for all your support, the subscribing, the commenting, the liking, all that jazz. Um, I just, I love doing these videos and you guys are the reason why I'm continuing this journey. So, um, thank you so much and let's get started. So I use a soy tart wax for these wax melts. Um, I tested other product and this is what I like the best. Um, it does come in huge sheets though. So I do want you to know that it, it is a pain because it's very hard, um, very hard wax. And that's what you want for a, a, a wax melt. Um, you want them to break nicely in the clamshell there. But yeah, you do want to, you, you do want to keep that in mind and, um, just make sure that you just break it up nicely. And so it'll, it'll fit into your presto pod or pitcher for double boil, whatever you, you're choosing. All right, so while your wax is melting, you want to prep your table uh, with the clamshells. Uh, these clamshells I do get off of Amazon, so I will link those below. Uh, they come in a huge bulk, and I love it. So um, I will link those, and I am choosing to do four and four. I'm gonna do four wax melts of a certain spring scent and then four of another spring scent for an upcoming event. Um, so I'm gonna line those up. And at this point, I've already chosen the fragrance oils, so um, definitely want to plan that ahead so you know exactly how much wax you're going to need, how many clamshells you want to line up. So the two scents that I'm choosing are spring scents for an upcoming event and also for my online store, um, but there's one from Midwest Fragrance Company and that's Lemongrass and then the other one is a eucalyptus spearmint from Flaming Candle Company um, and I will link those as well down below. Well, you have everything prepped you want to check the temperature of your wax. Uh, 190 degrees is great for the soy. Um, I go you know 185 to 190 for that so that's a perfect perfect temperature for that so I'm going to start pouring into the pitcher and make sure guys that uh, you don't burn your hands the presto pot handles can be pretty hot sometimes and also make sure that you tear your scale out before you pour all right guys so the least fun part for me is the math, but we do need to be consistent with our product. Uh, it shows care and honesty, I think, uh, to each customer. So figuring out the amount of fragrance oil needed for each clamshell and the amount of wax that's needed. So my, um, my melts are 80 grams total. So how I do that is I use 15% of fragrance oil per shell. Um, so I'm going to do 80 grams and then multiply that by the 15% and then multiply that by the number of clams. So um, that's going to be 48 grams of fragrance oil. And then the wax that I have is about 70 grams, 68 grams, 70 grams of wax. So I have two, about 272 grams of wax that I need to pour as well. All right, so I am tearing out the scale. Uh, I'm gonna leave the spoon in there. 
as long as the scale says zero, you are totally fine. Um, so let's weigh the wax and then we're going to pour the fragrance oil in. So I am doing the lemongrass first and tearing out the scale again uh, so I can accurately weigh the fragrance oil. Um, I'm going to need the 48 grams because I'm doing four at a time. So I'm going to pour it until 48. If you do like 50 on accident, it's okay guys, don't worry about it. Um, doesn't make too much of a difference. All right, so while wow, I am exactly at 48 grams, that doesn't happen sometimes. It's always like at 49 or whatever. Uh, it's, it's hard to pour sometimes, but I'm gonna mix this around pretty good. Being a soy wax, uh, you don't heat it up as much as like a coconut wax. Um, so make sure that you are Nicely blending in the oil with the wax for the soy for about um, 30 seconds to a minute um, just to make sure it's all combined nicely. All right, and I'm going to check the temperature of the wax, see where it's at. at 157, so that's a really good temperature, guys, to pour into your clamshells. Uh, so I'm gonna start the pouring process. All right, so just um, pour up to, there's like a little lip on the shells um, that I pour up to. So I'm gonna just be steady, have a steady hand. Um, it's okay guys if you spill, that's why I use actually the paper underneath and I can link that below as well. I get it off Amazon, a big roll of it because you're gonna need it as a crafter. So um, let's finish the four up and there's a little left. So let's top off some. Typically you can, you can top them off a little more um, so you're not wasting product. All right, and as you can see, there's nothing really in the pitcher, so that's good. Gonna wipe that up and get ready for the other four. All right, so just like the first time, I'm gonna tear out the scale and weigh out the wax. And then I'm going to tear it out again and put the 48 grams of fragrance oil. This is the eucalyptus one. All right, I'm gonna mix that up pretty good up to, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, like I said before. And as always, I will link everything that I use in the description below. Some of them are Amazon affiliate links. All right, gonna check the temperature of the wax and it looks like I can start pouring. All right. Like I said before, with a steady hand, uh, let's pour up to that lip there that these shells have. I find this so soothing and just the look of it looks like, you know, pure gold. I just think they're so pretty when they're in the processing, curating time. All right, finishing off the wax, topping everything off and it's empty. So I'm gonna clean that real quick before it hardens to the pitcher. And 
I will put the pegboard that I just took the paper towels off. I use um, certain paper towels as well, so I can link all of that in the description for you. And I use uh, rubbing alcohol to clean them up. I used to use Dawn soap in a sink and it was just too much. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend the rubbing alcohol. And this nifty little organizer for my table works really well. Holds all of my labels, all of my care cards, my um, warning labels, my dust covers, my business cards. Um, my, you know, the lighters on the side and pens and all that jazz. So I will link that below as well. And I'm going to be making my wax melt labels. Alrighty, so they are curated. Um, I would wait, I like to wait a couple weeks at least before I start selling. Um, but they are safe to close up and label and everything else. Um, so if you guys are interested in knowing how I do the labels, please let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on how I label wax melt and how I label, um, and how I create the labels, I should say, uh, for the concrete vessels, uh, room sprays, all that. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that. And yeah, so I eyeball this as well. I center. Uh, I don't like to center it perfectly, but I center it, you know, so it's not off center, but I like to have it a little bit further up on the top of the shell. Uh, I think it looks really nice like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to label. Sometimes I have a labeling day where I just label all of my product because it's kind of a lot to do all at once. Um, so Sometimes it's fun just to have a day specifically for uh, labeling, pouring, whatever. Um, but for the sake of this video, I decided to just do it all at once for you. So now I am labeling the other four, um, closing those up. And I also forgot to mention that I do like to wipe the clamshells down with, just grab a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol and just kind of clean off um, before using because there's dust and all that on them. Um, you don't have to, but that's that's what I choose to do and it does make it easier to stick the labels on as well. And I know I already said this in the beginning, but just in case you missed it, uh, I wanted to just say a thank you again. I really do appreciate the support, the subscribing and the liking and the sharing of my videos, the questions you guys have, um, it all matters to me. And I hope that you guys feel noticed. Uh, I hope you guys feel more inspired to do your own uh, after watching a video of mine. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding uh, anything candle related or wax melts, whatever, um, just let me know and if there's an idea that you guys have and you want to see something uh, in an another video, just let me know. All right guys, and that is how I make my wax melts using soy tart wax. Uh, as always, everything that I've used in the video will be linked in the description below. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to comment below and I will love to answer or try to answer your question. Um, and as always, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching the channel grow. It's all because of you that I'm continuing this work. I love teaching and demonstrating how I do things. Um, so I just, I love doing it and you guys are allowing me to continue my dream. So, 
Um, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe and follow, and I will be sure to upload more how-to videos in the future. Thanks, guys.